Afternoon, Lead Bullets for Life here on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy today, a little bit uh, cooler than uh, day four and day before that. But guys, yesterday uh, I had to cut my video a little bit short. I'm very uh, compressed for time, working two jobs uh, at night, getting sleep, and running a YouTube channel, getting supplies, getting uh, the uh, video ready for the shoot, range sessions and all and uh, making sure that the uh, video is uh, successful. So guys, I want to talk a little bit more about the uh, yesterday's shoot. Um, I found out that this little uh, nozzle on the flask actually uh, measures out to 19.1 grains of Hudson 777. And I was looking at possibly 20 grains, you know, for the, uh, for the primary charge, and then, you know, the 22 grain for the second charge. Uh, which is my my standard and that's pretty much max for the um, the Uberti uh, revolver um, 30 grains according to the manual for black powder minimum of 22 for the black powder uh, so with black powder versus black powder substitutes you have to uh, compensate a little bit by reducing the load from 30 to maybe 22 at the most which put it to where it would be at 30 grains. So at 30 grains, uh, charge would probably uh, make it over a thousand feet per second. So 22 grains of um, 777 did the same thing, you know. Um, now, guys, the reason why I use uh, 2FG is number one, it's more efficient for the 44 caliber, especially with a longer barrel. And uh, plus, I'm using a rain scrap cast balls, not soft lead. So the tighter fit in the cylinder is going to give it a little bit more tension and it's going to hold the pressure on that rifle power a little bit longer to give it optimal velocity and accuracy. And, I, and it showed, uh, my experiment showed that it actually did both. So I was getting efficient burn and I was getting uh, good accuracy. Uh, with the 22 grains, uh, I was like grouping like about, you know, up to here, up and down a little bit, you know. And this is one-handed, guys. So it... It's, it's pretty accurate, you know, and the uh, sights are, are dead on. Uh, Alright, so getting back to the uh, first charge of 19.1 grains. Now, if you saw, guys, I was using a little tin uh, to, uh, to measure the powder with. And the reason why I did that is because when you stick your finger inside the flask, you lose about a grain of powder because you're, a little bit of your finger is inside and it's, and it's taking some of the volume away. So, with your finger inside, you're getting 18.1 grains, uh, which I found out. But you put on something flat surface, like maybe a piece of bore, uh, wood, like a, a tongue depressor or, or a popsicle stick, you'll get more consistent uh, filling of the uh, flask. And it measures Guys, it's very important to keep your um, black powder revolvers nice and clean after every use. Don't let it go too long. Uh, immediately when I got home, you know, I had to do that too. I had to take it apart nipples and all and run hot water uh, and soap into the uh, components cylinder and, and the, uh, the nipples and then I ran hot water down the barrel and I ran a patch through it and more hot water and then uh, this morning uh, took some uh, hops number nine and went through the barrel again make sure there wasn't no, any pitting or any kind of signs of rusting um, you know there's just the powder but I think it's a priming compound on the primers themselves you know, they're very um, corrosive. So you really have to get into the nicks and crannies of the hammers and the, um, and the receiver end of the revolver make sure that those little areas that you can't see are clean from any of those kind of, uh, you know, burnt compounds that can start rusting. It'll attract moisture, and then as time goes on, it'll start to rust without you knowing it. And even the internals are now and then, you have to take them apart and then hand, hand wipe them down. Uh, so guys, I want to thank you guys for your comments. I had a lot of suggestions, you know, and um, some suggested I use a uh, converter, and I was thinking about a converter. You know, the if I do get a converter, it'll be the uh, the Chris Curse uh, con con the Chris converter, this with a K, of course. And I was looking in something in the 45 ACP uh, since I already have the dies here, and uh, but I'll still be using um, black powder for that. And one thing I learned about the, thank you, black powder substitute guy, it fills up the cases uh, a lot more better, and it fills them all the way, 
And I think that's the reason why I was getting those consistent velocities. Is because your um, your ball is sitting on top of the, uh, the charge and it is uh, causing more consistent pressures and burns, giving you the best velocity and accuracy possible. Now, of course, the shooter does his part. Anyways, guys, it looks like I'm going to continue uh, with the black powder um, program for a while, look into other uh, revolvers as well, They're looking for maybe a single shot uh, hunting rifle like a Hawkins maybe, and guys, there's so much that is involved in black powder shooting, preparation, the tools you need, and uh, how to shoot them as well. And uh, most important, making sure they're clean afterwards, guys, because they, they will rust. Um, anyways, guys, if you go on the channel on YouTube, you'll find in the black powder, you'll see a lot of 1860s, and that's the Colt, and they're handguns without any top straps on them. And you have to use a wedge to remove the barrel, and uh, I use the wedge to retighten the barrel again, and you have to make sure that the gap is <clears throat> set right. But uh, with the Remington's guys, uh, they have a top strap on them. They're a little bit stronger. <clears throat> I like the looks of them, and I like the way they balance. Uh, matter of fact, I believe that uh, uh, if I had a choice, I would take the Remington over the Colt. That's my opinion. Okay, so <clears throat> hopefully uh, I will get my um, cap maker uh, in a couple of weeks or so, because I don't know if there's a, a waiting list for it. I have to go online, I have to uh, download the app and to find out uh, with the progress on it as far as getting the uh, uh, the cap makers. But something in Uber, of course, uh, I swear by their products, guys. Not that the Pieta is any, any worse or like that, but uh, uh, I just hear better reports with the Uber. And out of the box, guys, they, they come out accurate. They come out beautiful. No blemishes, uh, no issues with triggers, no issues with... Uh, timing uh, and no issues with sighting it just comes out 100% uh, perfect so and guys I'll be looking for other black powder uh, revolvers or pistols or even rifles for that matter in the near future this is just the beginning but uh, again you can see a lot of uh, YouTube videos on the 1858 uh, new army revolver in 44 uh, Pieta makes the same model here but in 36 caliber and what I like about the Pieta's 36 caliber is that it's built on a 44 caliber frame. So basically you got a thicker barrel and thicker cylinder. And I believe you can put a pretty hefty charge in that thing, about 30 grains. But for a dollar more, you can get the uh, 777 here. It burns a lot cleaner, guys. And it smokes, but not as, as bad. Okay, so with two rain sessions, I fired a total of uh, 48 to 50 uh, cast balls already. And had I had uh, better uh, percussion cats, I probably would have fired them maybe twice as much. But guys, so guys, if you're thinking about going into black powder, read about the subject. There are a lot of people out there who know what they're talking about when it comes to black powder. And um, if you're like firing in the outdoors, of course, then the black powder is good for you. Is that recommended to shoot indoors uh, because of the smoke? And a lot of these uh, gun clubs uh, kind of frown on that, so you have to use an outside range or some public land if you can find it. So again, guys, I want to thank all of you who made comments and suggestions on my channel. Um, I already took them all to heart, and I noticed that some of my views got up a little bit more than uh, normal. So uh, maybe the black powder uh, videos will probably be the ones that will get me up there at the top. We'll see. So anyways, guys, uh, this is Left Bullets for Life. I want to thank you guys for joining me today uh, at my uh, garage chat. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I envy you guys who live in the country. I really do, you know. Just step outside your door and uh, there's the world out there, you know, at your doorstep. Or here I got the, the jungle at my doorstep, you know, literally. All right, guys, Left Bullets for Life here. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you see, you want to see more, please rate, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Enjoy your Sunday. Let Bulls Fly here out. Bye for now.